right, who wants to be a millionaire? So you really want to be a millionaire, right? Well, that's awesome. And unfortunately, when cruising on the road to riches, nothing is quite so difficult as earning that first million dollars. In a recent video, I discussed how the number of millionaires worldwide is expected to nearly double in the next four years. So in today's video, what I'm gonna do is talk about the reasons why it can be so difficult to make that very first million, and hopefully you'll leave with the insight necessary to make that leap of faith and count yourself among the newly minted millionaires in the years to come stick around. All right, so for some, achieving the goal of becoming a millionaire seems like an aspirational yet totally impossible objective. That's how it was for me, but just like most goals, breaking it down into smaller pieces makes it not only seem achievable, but it actually becomes achievable. However, it is crucial to note that at the beginning of this journey, there is a big difference between making $1 million versus having $1 million. While having accumulated a net worth in excess of a million dollars is an attainable goal for most people over a lifetime, only a very select few ever make this amount of money in just one year. Moreover, earning a million dollar salary might not make anyone quite as wealthy as it often is assumed. When people get rich, they often go on wild spending sprees, they find themselves not nearly as wealthy as they thought they would, so it is also worth noting that there are plenty of millionaire earners out there that did not really make $1 million. Someone might have a business generating a $1 million in gross income, but it has to cover a, lar a large portion of expenses too. And similarly, having a $1 million property secured with a $2 million debt is really not being a millionaire. So let's first separate ourselves from the appearance of a millionaire with true millionaire status. This is important as it can be very easy to fall into a trap of thinking you're a millionaire and thus acting like one or how you think one should act. We all know the stories of athletes and entertainers, lottery winners acting endlessly rich with the moment, you know, the moment that they have some money coming in and they just blow it all away on frivolous things. It's easy to go broke when you go about your finances this way. And this is why we talk about both sides of the balance sheet on this channel, keeping expenses down while simultaneously increasing your income will result in much more cash flow. And cash flow is the name of the game here, folks. Cash flow is the amount of money that you have left over after all of your expenses for the month are paid, and it is the single biggest reason why the first million dollars can be the hardest. All too often, especially in the US, people let their expenses rise equally to their income. When they make more, they spend more and this leaves them with minimal, if any, cash flow. And that being said, spending isn't always a bad thing, it's just that many of us choose to spend on things that don't earn us anything in return. Unfortunately, this often happens because of risk aversion, although I'd wager that risk aversion is misplaced. It, it, isn't it riskier to spend money on knickknacks that don't do anything but depreciate than it would to be spending money on things that could appreciate or even produce residual income? Poor cash flow practices and, and misplaced risk aversion seem to be the two-headed monster keeping folks from their financial potential and thus making their first million. But there is a third head to that monster. Have you ever heard the saying, it takes money to make money? Well, it's a saying because it's often true. Those who already have money to work with are, are much more capable than those who don't. This is where the debt weapon concepts come in. We have many videos on debt weapons and what they are and how they work. So rather than go deep into this on this video, I'm gonna point you to some other links in the description below. Make sure to check those out. But to put it simply, debt weapons allow us to utilize funds that would have otherwise been well out of reach. They are the tools that give us the money it, it takes in order to make more money. We utilize debt weapons to eliminate debt in a fraction of the time, thus freeing up more cash flow, of course, and that would have otherwise been in you know, being paid in high interest costs in a lot of cases. We also utilize debt weapons to increase cash flow via real estate and side hustles or small businesses. We recently did a video on the power of, of short-term rentals in the Orlando market. So make sure you check out that video if you, if you have any interest in, in a place with massive cash flow potential. Orlando seems to just be uh, one of those markets that just kind of checks all of the boxes, you, you know, for, for investors and vacation rentals are a great vehicle for people to, to, to create wealth and to grow their wealth. There is no point downplaying how difficult it is to accumulate that first million in wealth. But the mere fact that it is difficult is no reason to avoid trying. There are many ways to go about trying. Some are faster than others. We focused on the, on the foundational practices that people use to fast track themselves 
to millionaire status, but that doesn't mean that the slow approach isn't available too. For those who are less risk averse and, and like the more traditional route, there are always the slow trickling saving option and or the long-term play with solid retirement planning, the long-term wealth development side of things. It is better to do something than nothing. So I would certainly, uh, I wouldn't judge anybody here who saves consistently. Consistency in a positive financial process is always going to be a good thing. Now, that being said, there are quicker tried and true methods out there, methods that are put on display by those who are already millionaires and beyond. So why not follow what they're doing? Emulate the success. I mean, at the end of the day, it always comes down to cash flow, to risk, and to capital. And this is why we talk so much about what we call the three C's of better banking and borrowing, credit, capital, and cash flow. For anybody that's looking to become one of the new millionaires that will be made in the coming years, be sure to optimize your credit so that you can gain access to capital and that capital then allows you to grow your cash flow. Getting your financial house in order so you have a solid foundation to build from is a great place to start. Make sure you download cashflowcruncher.com to get your cash flow cruncher spreadsheet. It's completely free. It allows you to organize your finances and determine what your monthly cash flow is. Once you've got your starting point nailed down, the next step is going to be coming up with a game plan, a roadmap. Are you going to grow your cash flow through real estate, maybe with short term rentals, through stocks, through a side hustle? maybe even cryptocurrencies. There are a lot of great buying opportunities. There are many ways to go and choosing the right ones will come down to your risk tolerance and your various interests. It can be helpful to talk to an expert in, in order to see your options clear and thus choose what you can stay consistent with. And this is why we've decided to once again offer our completely free, no strings attached, complimentary coaching sessions. This is just to our YouTube audience here. And prior to our hiatus, our free coaching sessions helped thousands of families and individuals with their financial goals. And so we're super excited to kick these off again. In order to sign up for a free coaching session, head on over to freecoachingcalendar.com. Spaces are obviously very limited and sessions, sessions will be scheduled, of course, on a first come first serve basis. So uh, I'm very much looking forward to helping you guys cut through the most difficult part of your financial journey and make that first million. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with somebody who could use it. Until next time, make it a great day and keep on cash flowing. Take care.